Another one of my favorites that I mentioned earlier was your interview with Mark Cuban. And I loved how you uh, you mentioned to Mark Cuban in that in that interview, you said to him that, uh, oh, I'm a diehard baseball collector. I've been collecting baseball cards my whole life. He went on to tell you, you know, he kind of cut you off and he started saying, you know, I learned a lot of the business lessons that I use now. I learned those from buying and selling and collecting baseball cards when I was a kid. Okay. So my question for you on that is, can today's youth benefit in the hobby to the same extent, maybe not becoming a billionaire like Mark did, but are there still opportunities for youngsters, young people, which is always a challenge yeah. for us in the hobby to, you know, that we're losing the kids. People say, I see a lot of youngsters, but my question for you is like Mark benefited from the business lessons he learned at a young age. Do you feel there are still opportunities for that for youngsters today? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and here's why. I, I, so, again, remember what will prevent this from happening for youngsters is if regulation shows up. If regulation shows up, no, they will not benefit from it. But regulation is not here today. So what do I mean by this? Okay, you know, trading cards. That's what business people do. They trade assets, they merge companies, they co-own, they have joint ventures, they go 50-50. Those are all accidental business lessons you're learning as a kid. You're sitting there trading, negotiating. I give you this card for that card. Why are you trading a Gary Payton for a Sean Kemp? Why are you doing that? Is it because you don't think Sean Kemp is a sustainability long-term because he doesn't have an outside shot? And Peyton's a little bit more healthier, lower back problems he doesn't have, so he's going to play a longer game. So Sean Kemp may be more sexy today because he's got a 45-inch vertical leap and Peyton doesn't. But long-term, Peyton's going to be better, so I'm willing to trade. And the other guy's like, no, I'll take the Kemp because he's so cool. And you're like, I don't know, I'm going to go with Peyton long-term. So these are all good things that kids do when we're trading and we're learning and you're losing. We're like, that, that was not a good trade. The guy got injured. So now you have an asset that is not going to go up for the next year because he has an Achilles heel. So I think it's a wonderful experience for kids to go through with cards as long as regulation doesn't show up. If regulation doesn't show up, absolutely, I think it's a wonderful thing that kids are going through.